Hello and welcome to this tips and techniques video from Master Your Photography. In this series we've carefully crafted a collection of short videos designed to provide you with key points on specific topics without any of the unnecessary waffle. Our goal is to give you practical information that you can immediately apply to your own photography. We understand that your time is precious, so we've condensed each video to deliver concise, actionable information. With our tips and techniques series, you'll gain the knowledge and the confidence to improve your photography in no time at all. So that's probably enough waffle, let's get started. This video is all about a really popular genre of photography, and that is street photography. Now by street photography, what we mean is candid photographs of everyday life, usually in a public space. The only requirement is that you need to have people. It's all about real life and the interactions that happen between people naturally out on the street. It's candid moments. It's not about asking people to pose in a certain way or look at the camera. It's things that actually happen right in front of you. It's really good if you can shoot from the hip and by that what I mean is you're not actually looking through the viewfinder when you press the shutter. Shoot from a distance with a telephoto lens if, if you're a little bit unsure about getting it close and personal to people and you can still get some fantastic images. You don't have to be in somebody's face to be able to get a really good street photo. Of course if you're comfortable being closer in then really get in there with your wide angle lens on. What you'll actually find is that most of the time people are so engrossed in what they're doing that they don't even notice that you're taking their photograph. Be discreet, obviously, and be unobtrusive. It's not about invading people's privacy. You want to capture those genuine moments, but you don't want people to feel uncomfortable whilst you're doing it. You should always be respectful of your subjects when you're undertaking any kind of street photography. You don't want people to feel uncomfortable. You're not there to exploit people. You just want to celebrate the beauty of everyday life. There is a tendency for most street photographers to only shoot in monochrome or certainly shoot in colour and convert everything to monochrome afterwards. But colour can be equally effective. If you've got some bold, bright primary colours within the image, then maybe make use of them. Now, despite the name street photography, it doesn't always have to be taken outdoors on the street. You can actually take what we would term street photographs indoors. It can be really effective, but it's a good idea to include some background elements so that the viewer can see your subjects within the context of their normal surroundings. Of course, you can just go out on the street and start taking this kind of photograph immediately. But if you want to have a really rich source of subjects, then anywhere where there is a market or any kind of protest or any kind of festival going on, it tends to provide a really rich seam of subjects who are not too worried about being photographed usually. The best thing you can do is get out there and practice, learn to look for those candid moments where people are interacting either with each other or even with your camera and you'll grab some fantastic scenes. Thank you for tuning in to Master Your Photography's Tips and Techniques series. We hope you found this video useful and practical. Remember, each photo you take is a stepping stone towards becoming a better photographer. So get out there and capture the world in your own unique way. Until next time, happy shooting.